Good afternoon. The National Prosecuting Authority, Jamila Badohi, has acknowledged that the apparent lack of progress in high-profile cases may lead to a lack of confidence in the criminal justice system. However, she says it's equally important to make sure that ordinary citizens get the justice they deserve. She was speaking to Linda Nisi on the sidelines of the conference reviewing the Criminal Procedure Act in Boxburg. The National Conference on the Integrated Justice System and Review of the Criminal Procedure Act is still underway at the Bridgehood Hotel in Boxburg. And joining me now is the National Director of Public Prosecution, Advocate Shamila Batoy. Advocate, thank you so much for your time. I want us to start by looking at the issues, right, in your department. When we talk about an overhaul of the Criminal Procedure Act and how it would affect your, your, your department. Well, the Criminal Procedure Act is an act that's close to 50 years old. And so it hasn't kept up with the developments in uh, technology, in different crime types. So the Criminal Procedure Act is meant to enable the various actors in the criminal justice system, from police to prosecutors, um, and then, you know, deals with various aspects of procedure. And we, it's meant to actually strengthen our hand um, in terms of how we deal with the investigation and prosecutions of, of, of crimes. And so because there hasn't been a review for a long time, um, it, it hasn't kept up with the developments, as I said, technological, different crime types. And so it's important that we have this review. Um, we must understand that the context when this act was actually developed has changed considerably. We are now in a time where crime levels are extremely high. People don't have confidence in the criminal justice system. And so, you know, we really need to take stock and to see how we could improve the system so that we could deliver better service and justice to the people of South Africa. And when we speak about confidence in the uh, criminal justice system, uh, you know, people think about cases like, you know, the Machela Koko case, Edwin Sodi. They think about, uh, you know, the Nulane case. I wonder then how much of the leadership um, you know, how much responsibility you as a leadership take when it comes to the NPA in terms of that public confidence? No, I, I, I have to accept that, you know, these are cases that, that impact on the confidence of the public in the ability of the prosecution as well as the system to deal with these matters. And, and I'll deal with that in a minute. But to say that millions and millions of victims of crime every day go through our systems, and they are the ones that also need justice and need a system that's efficient so that is responsive to the, to the needs of victims and witnesses. And so it's part of a much broader reform in terms of trying to deliver justice to not just in respect of those high profile matters that you mentioned, which, are, which is hugely important, but also to ordinary citizens in South Africa who every day go through our court systems to ensure that they get better justice. But dealing with the matters that you mentioned, of course, those are high-profile matters. And for us in the NPA, we understand that in order to restore justice, sorry, to restore confidence, um, we have to ensure that these high-profile matters are dealt with and that they go through the system to finality. But one must understand that the cocoa matter, is, it's, it's a setback. And, of course, there's, there's a lot of digital forensic evidence that's being analyzed, and the matter when it's ready will be re-enrolled. One must understand that these complex, high-profile matters are ones that are extremely tedious in terms of the amount of work that needs to go into it, but also we have to be extremely meticulous. And so these take time. And, and it's not just in South Africa. It's a global standard. And one of the, the huge challenges in the justice system and in the prosecution is the ability to deal with digital forensic evidence. And that is the evidence that we're dealing with today. It's cell phones, it's computers, it's all the digital technology. And that's where the system lacks the skills. 